Hey guys, Joe Garth here, creator of Brushify.io. In this video, I'll be going over some of the features of the Brushify Urban Buildings pack. This is the first Brushify pack that features predominantly buildings. The goal here was to create building assets with a real-world scale and provide users with a photorealistic, ready-made example city. This pack will be the first of many man-made environment sets from Brushify. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can get the most out of these products. We'll be showing what's possible with the brand new Brushify Master Material, which features a cutting edge UV-less workflow. Showing how modular buildings can be customized and how massive cities can be rapidly built using blueprints. We'll also be creating a simple interior using the new Unreal Engine modeling tools. So without further ado, let's get stuck in. This is the Brushify Urban Buildings example map. This map demonstrates how you can create an entire city using the urban building's assets. The really cool thing is that all of the screenshots you can see on the Unreal Engine Marketplace product page can be jumped to via bookmarks. You can simply hit the number keys on the keyboard to teleport to those locations. If you install the pack to a third or first person UE4 game template, you can hit the play button to spawn as the player and explore the world. I had a lot of fun imagining what developers would do with this massive city. I could totally see some superheroes flying around the place. It's also possible to get even more visual fidelity out of the example map by enabling RTX and by using a plugin like Hemisphere Skies. Hemisphere Skies allows you to create stunning photorealistic time lapses and it lights your level in a physically accurate way. The Brushify and Hemisphere combination is really powerful and can give some really impressive results. And even better, when you enable RTX for real-time ray tracing, the sky and buildings give accurate reflections from any view angle. This demonstration is running on a single 1080 Ti, and with time, RTX-enabled GPUs will only become more affordable and widespread. RTX is also great if you want nice soft shadows on your point lights. It's perfect for nighttime lighting in the city. The pack comes with 43 building presets that are all fully customizable in Blueprint. All of the buildings in the pack are assembled from dozens of modular pieces. That means that the modular meshes from one building can be mixed and matched with modular meshes from a different building to create an entirely new building. This helps designers get a lot of variation when they're creating their cities. There are separate meshes for floors, midsections, roofs, as well as accessories like the stairwell exits and roof extractors that you can see here. This modular approach is also fantastic for performance. Each individual modular piece comes fully set up with LODs. And the modular approach works great for Unreal Engine's auto instancing system. Instead of rendering many unique meshes, Unreal Engine combines the meshes to make them more cost effective for the GPU. To add these blueprints to your level, simply go to the Brushify, Design Packs, Urban Buildings, Presets folder. There are three different categories, City Blocks, High Rise, and Residential. High Rise and Residential allow you to place individual High Rise and Residential buildings. You can then double click on those buildings directly in the viewport to edit them. Or you can go to Edit Blueprint and open the Blueprint Editor itself in order to make changes there. If you want, you can already start building cities this way, simply by dragging and dropping buildings from the content browser and dragging them into your scene. There's also an even quicker way, if you go to the City Blocks folder, you can drag entire city blocks into your level. This makes building large cities an absolute breeze. Instead of having to hand place every single building, you can simply just copy and paste an entire city block. And of course, these blueprints are still editable, so you can go in there and move the buildings around. In order to give creators the sort of flexibility and optimization that Brushify customers are used to, it was necessary to implement an entirely new advanced master material. The material gives you a number of customization options. The blend shading feature allows you to create a mask between two textures. In this example, you can see the bricks and the exposed breeze blocks beneath them. I can control the balance of the two textures by changing the blend map amount. The damage feature works in a similar way. It lets you blend a damage mask over the top of your textures. In this case, I'm just using a simple pearl and noise texture, but it will also work with more complex textures, such as scratches or underlying brickwork. When the blending feature and the damage feature are combined, it can help you get a lot of unique variations just out of inputting a few simple textures. 
and all of them come with parameters for tiling, tint and strength. Parallax occlusion mapping is also built into the shader and can be enabled on any correctly UV geometry. This gives every single window depth without needing to render lots of real polygons. Another feature are the nighttime lighting effects. They can be enabled on the material instance of every building facade. The most cutting edge feature is the UV-less workflow. It means that the shader can texture almost any hard surface object regardless of the existing UVs. The tech works best with boxy shapes. It works perfectly for most buildings and many props and is used on many highly repetitive materials throughout the pack, like this brickwork. The feature is demonstrated really well with Unreal Engine's new modeling tool. Notice how as I model, the texture is automatically applied to the mesh, without any UV stretching or the need to periodically flatten and pack UVs. It reminds me of the early days when games used BSP for the final art, but we now have the ability to make much more complex geometry with lots and lots of detail. We can also use the new Unreal Engine modeling tool to make changes to the modular meshes themselves. In this example, you can see me adding an interior room. First I delete the door, then I create a first floor inside the building by expanding a cube to fit. Being able to edit meshes like this directly in the Unreal Engine opens up so many possibilities. Designers are able to customize the asset so that they can be tailor-made for their games. As a side note, these modeling tools can be used on all the Brushify assets that are already out on the Unreal Marketplace. Being able to model in real time like this is also a huge game changer because it allows you to quickly preview gameplay and collisions straight away and also check things like line of sight. For instance, if a sniper is going to look out of this window, you want to see his view on the street below. As I mentioned before, the plan is that this pack will be the first of many. To get an idea of what my priorities should be, please leave a request for the packs that you'd like to see next in the comments below. I hope you guys found this video informative and entertaining. If you enjoy content like this, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos and future updates. Cheers!